Hey what's up beautiful people of YouTube, welcome to Dom's Media Zone. In today's video I've decided to compare three different microphones to see how they sound against each other. I'm interested in hearing which one sounds the best and which one I should use the most for my YouTube videos. The first microphone that we're going to compare is the Power Device lapel microphone which is a microphone that's directly connected to the camera via cable and then it's attached over here. I'm using this microphone right now to record this video. So the sound you're hearing right now is from the Power Device lapel microphone. The second microphone that I'm going to compare is the Blue Yeti Nano desktop microphone. Now this is a fantastic mic and I've been using it to record my tutorials for YouTube and the sound quality is truly outstanding but it does have limitations because it needs to be plugged into your computer and then you have to synchronize the audio with the camera afterwards. And the third microphone that I'm going to test is the Rode Wireless Go 2. Now for me the Rode Go 2 is a brand new microphone, I've only received it yesterday so I'm curious to see how it stands up against the Blue Yeti Nano and the Power Device lapel microphone. Now the Rode 2 is more pricey than the other two and it is a wireless system which means I don't need to have cables dangling around and connected to the camera so I'm more free and not restricted by the cables. Now there are two different ways of using the Rode Go 2. One is you can attach it to yourself without a lapel microphone attached to it. The second way is you can attach a lapel microphone to the Rode Wireless Go 2. So we're going to try both ways today just to see if there's any difference in sound. So without further ado, I hope you enjoy this video. So as I've mentioned, you've been listening to me on the Power Device lapel microphone that's attached to my shirt right now. It's over here. This is how it sounds. I'm thinking the quality will be alright. And this microphone is the cheaper one of the three, which will cost you basically around £30 or so. So this is how you can hear me on this microphone. Is it clear? Is it good? Let's compare it to the other two microphones. Okay, now I'm switching over to the Blue Yeti Nano. This is my voice through the Blue Yeti Nano desktop microphone. So this microphone is plugged in, it is in front of me and I have to talk to it and it is restricted because you need a laptop to record the sound and then you need to synchronize that sound to your video later on in the post-processing, but it's not very difficult neither. The only restriction is you cannot really move around with this mic, you have to have it right in front of you when you speak. Now I'm pretty sure the Blue Yeti Nano sounds fantastic, so let's hear how the Rode Wireless sounds compared to the other two. And now you're listening to me on the Rode Wireless Go 2 microphone and this microphone is attached to me right here. I'm just using my hoodie strings to kind of balance it out and this is a comparison so we're going to hear how it does against the Blue Yeti Nano and the Power Device lapel microphone. So this is the Rode Go 2 microphone without a lapel mic attached to it. So the next test we will attach the Power Device lapel microphone just to see if there's a difference when we attach the lapel microphone so this is how I sound with the Rode 2 without the lapel microphone. It's just attached to my hoodie here. And the best thing about this microphone is it's so versatile. It's got no cables. I can move around freely. Apparently, if you've got line of sight, you can record up to 200 meters away with this microphone without losing quality. This is a very flexible, very good microphone. In my opinion, this will make my life a lot easier when I'm recording these videos because I don't have to fiddle with the cables. I don't even have to have the laptop out. I can just record straight away. All right, now we're going to switch over to the same Rode 2 microphone but with the power device lapel microphone attached to it so let's do that right now all right now you're listening to me through the Rode 2 with the power device lapel microphone attached to it I took the lapel microphone I've attached it to the Rode 2 and this is how it sounds is there a big difference between the previous one that is the question that I need answered today so I need to know for future videos do I use just the Rode 2 on its own or do I attach a lapel mic to it? Once again, this is the Rode 2 with the lapel microphone attached to it, and it sounds like this. Now let's hear one more time the Rode 2 without the lapel microphone attached to it. And now we're back with the Rode 2 without the lapel mic. This is how it sounds. Can you hear a big difference? Which one sounds better? Do let me know in the comments below, because I'm quite curious to see which one comes out on top and which one I should be using in the future. So this is the Rode 2 without the lapel microphone on it. Okay, and then just to finalize, let's go back and attach the Power Device lapel microphone to the Canon directly without the Rode 2 again. And then we'll just hear the Blue Yeti Nano one more time. And hopefully that gives me enough material to compare all the microphones and conclude which one comes out on top.
Okay, we are once again listening to the Power Device lapel microphone plugged in directly to the camera with the cable that it came with. So this is the sound difference between the other two microphones and this one on its own. How does it sound? Is it still good enough to use for YouTube? This is the cheapest one of them all. So I'm quite curious how it does against the other two more expensive microphones. The Blue Yeti Nano being in the range of about £100, whereas the Rhodes Go 2 will cost you about £279. All right, and now we're going to switch over for the last time to the Blue Yeti Nano microphone right now. All right, you're now listening to me on the Blue Yeti Nano microphone. This is the audio from the Blue Yeti Nano microphone. And with that, we're going to end the video today. But please do leave your opinion in the comments down below. Which one do you think comes out on top? I have a feeling that the Blue Yeti Nano's quality will be the best sounding. But the versatility that the Rhodes Go 2 brings to the table, I'm hoping that it will come very close second. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I do hope it helps you out whether you're shopping for a new microphone or just trying to compare the sound quality. If you did, do consider subscribing and do give me a thumbs up so that I know you've liked it so that I can keep making these videos for you. And that's all I have for today. Take care, stay safe and see you next time.